when he was first born, he had um, pneumonia and group B strep. So he was very ill on um, life support. He had to go to the special baby unit. He was just over the moon. He was home and alive. Yeah, so then, to come out of it, death was a small price to pay, considering yeah. we thought we, we could have lost him, sort of thing. After, after a, a good year, wasn't it, I think, they um, maybe longer than a year, wasn't it? Yeah. They sort of put it down to all the neuropathy, which is um, quite rare, and no one really knew anything about it. Kiss Adam, please. You're going to swing? Yeah. What about me? Yeah. What, I can come? Big yeah. swing or the baby swing? Mrs. Dinner. Mrs. Dinner? Okay, is she nice? Dinner. This is dinner. <laughs> we're just going for that. This is dinner. Do you mean like a dinner lady? Is it a dinner lady? Ah. Oh. And then they um, put him forward for um, cochlear implants, didn't they? Yeah, two. They said he should have. But um. Yeah, we sort of turned it down because we wanted to see how he, he, he was getting with his ear and aids because he had some hearing there. We wanted to build on that with, with ear and aids rather than have the implant straight away because it's irreversible and any natural hearing he had would, would then be gone Yeah. It's, it's for the operation, for the switch over and stuff like that. They couldn't tell you if it, they can't tell you what it would benefit for auditory neuropathy, if it would benefit, if it wouldn't. Mm. So that was another thing, that like it could benefit the hearing loss. It would make no difference to the auditory neuropathy. So even though he may be able to hear like we can, yeah. some well, days he's still going to have shh, which is going to cloud his hearing, isn't it? I mean, we're, we're open to anything that's going to help him, isn't it? But yeah. At this time... I think 90% we're not going to help yeah, him. Yeah, at the minute we don't feel that in, at this time that they're going to help him. No, at this time we're 100% happy with our decision, but... We're still, we're still, we're not, we'd never ever turn anything completely down. If in five years he's still at the stage he's at now, then we'd obviously have to think about it and... Yeah. But you've got so, to outweigh the good with the bad. The older they are, the less... You've got to see how far behind he gets for, to his peers, really. Yeah. But then, the, the later he gets, the harder it will be for him if he does have the implant. So there's pros and cons. Where's your ears? Why did you take them off? Go and get them. We need to Quick. So yeah, with his hearing aids, he's come on leaps and bounds. When he started moaning and pulling them out, it was really bad for about eight months. Maybe, yeah. It was, it was hard to keep him in, wasn't it? He just kept pulling them out. And... Yeah, and then we'd feel bad and think, oh, he's all right, he's all right. Like, we weren't, we wasn't on it as much at first, and then we thought, well, it's only here to help him. And then when we did start putting, like, he'd wear them about six hours out of a day, wouldn't he, at first? Yeah. And like now he's 24, obviously, apart from when he's in bed or bath, swimming, etc., they're in. Yeah, they're in all the time now. And when we did make him put them in the whole time, we did notice a difference. Definitely, didn't we? Yeah, definitely. And then we was kicking ourselves. And, and well, when we see the results and the behaviours, like with and without the urinates, with urinates, they're a lot better, aren't they? Yeah. It goes up an extra 20 decibels, I think it is. No, with the hearing aids, he got down to like 40. Yeah. Which is more or less... Conversational, isn't it? And Again, then, another factor. Yeah, fact it gets down to 40, doesn't it? But then with a neuropathy, it's still hard for him to understand, right? Because you can't test the neuropathy either, so you don't know. Yeah, you don't know how severe it is. Yeah, 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 it changes. One day they have a good day, one day they have a bad day. Yeah, we can definitely tell, like, occasionally we'll be in bed and then I'll, I'll make the tiny sound uh, and he'll look round. Yeah. And then other days, like yesterday, I think it was yesterday. You can call him and he won't look round. I was in his bed and he was playing in the room. And I was talking, and he just didn't look. He didn't have his age on because he'd just come out of the bath, but he didn't look at all. So we can definitely tell good days and bad days with neuropathy. You have like days, like, like a couple of months ago, he come back and he was trying to tell us something, and we had no idea, and that was horrible. Yeah, it's hard to understand it sometimes, but... Yeah, that's when it gets a little bit like, oh, I wish I knew what he was saying, or... That's when we feel bad, because we don't know what he's trying to tell us, but then... Within ten, five yeah, ten so minutes, he tells you another way, or he shows you, or he points it, or he, he lets you know what he wants, what he's saying, doesn't he? Yeah. That's I think that, but that's the only time we feel a bit. Oh, sorry. Like, mm -hmm. wish we knew more. Just it's really scary at first, the thought of it, but it's not. Like when you actually deal with it every day, 
it just it's no different. No, that's it. Just make sure well, when you're talking to them, you got to make sure you're looking at them so you can see your your lips. Um, Animated. Yeah. Yeah. And make sure you talk even if you do sign and use medicine, but like, talk at the same time. Yeah. Is that? Uh, they can lip, they lip read that they're like children adapt to it, don't they, as well. Already, yeah. But it's not as scary as you think. If we can do it, anyone can. Can't they? Really. Yeah. High five. Um, they're really, really, really good school, he's at. We're over the moon with it. And yeah. we've got in there about the statement, because it's obviously for the local children. The wording in the statement was all a bit... Um, but luckily, our family officer knew what she was doing.